Hello everybody, welcome to the round three of the play-ins. Last chance saloon for Necronome in Blue, who is uh, who is a policeman. His, his day job. Up against uh, Arzawain, who is uh, you know somewhat infamous in the Blood Bowl PS4 community. So you know this is a cops versus robbers game, very exciting. Uh, Necronome has gone for five block and a garda. And uh, Arzawain has gone for five guard. Is that a sneaky get as a double? I think that's a sneaky get double, yeah. He's knobs, he's got knobs for Dimmy. Uh, leader, blodge, blitzer, and tackle blitzer. So, <laughs> you know what it is, yeah. I have, a, I have, you know, I haven't mentioned it for these because I'm trying to be, uh, I'm trying to be, uh, you know, impartial and everything. Let's just make it about the bloody balls. Stan Firm doing a thing. And also Necronome has only got 11 players here. He's gone with 3 rerolls. Man, I really don't know what to do. I think I'd go 3 rerolls as Lizard Man. I think I would. I think... I think I just... It, you know, in the way the rules are now, I just really want more rerolls. I think all of the other things where, you know, it was more power or, or more re reliability, like, the rerolls give you more power now as well, don't they? Like, they really do. It's not just re it's not just a reliability thing. Now that you can stack them in a turn, it lets you make, uh, like, more exciting players, doesn't it? Instant reroll usage. Gets the pow. Surely, the eye piles into the stand firm, and then you can use the guard for an extra assist as well. Really nice. Really nice. Five assist foul on the Soros with Sneaky Git. It doesn't even break AV. removal mm, quite like not activating the crocs there right like activating him to move one square it's not that good is it and like risk risk him losing his tackle zones and everything could have uh, collapsed into the side a little bit I think and on honestly I think he was maybe even better story than anyway. he Another big foul coming in. Could have had uh, an extra assist though, or two. Didn't. Only a plus four foul. Imagine not maxing assists on your fouls. But I guess he wants to try and, you know, try to defend a little bit as well, right? But I do think removing Saurus is, <laughs> is worth uh, any positional cost, essentially. Early in the drive, right? First three or four turns of the drive, just just send everyone you can in to get massive gang fouls. I think is definitely the way versus lizards these days. No jam toast. I it's just an alarm I'd set. It was just an alarm I'd set to uh, <laughs> to get out of bed <laughs> yesterday <laughs> before my game. My game was at seven, wasn't it? So uh, in case I'd fallen asleep, I was going. I'd set my alarm for five. <laughs> Yep. I had a nice little, I had a nice little lie down before my, before the big match, which helped me play well, I think, but didn't help me roll well. So there you go. Doesn't put in the guard, so again, could have had an extra plus one on this foul. Also, the guard would have protected the sneaky git from retribution. But uh, he wouldn't have broken it anyway. Funny enough, sneaky get dirty player with extra assists could have just slaughtered this whole Soros team. But uh, 
He only has the sneaky git. It is Imperial Nobility, not a World Alliance. No way for him to get sneaky git and dirty player on the same player. So, uh, yep. Necronome just chilling with his uh, skinks in the backfield, completely protected. No hint of molestation from the uh, knobs. Oh, he gets the power on the, on the crocs. Maybe he will blitz around and... No, I don't know. He's just going around the other side. Like, it's tough. Like, it takes your whole team to fight. It's so stupid, man. Should have stood up his ogre like 10 minutes ago, right? Like, just stand, stand it up first. No no reason to not stand it up first. Um, it's so stupid that it just takes your whole team to fight lizard man. Oh, there we go. So he, he KO'd him, and he used the apple to make him stunned. I guess because he's going to hit the sneaky git this turn? No, I put the KO. Oh no, he's not. He's making his push. He's making his push. But that that makes the apple on the KO look a bit worse, right? If you're making your push this turn. Uh, so maybe he's thinking, I'm making my push this turn. If he wants to foul him again, it's going to cost him the skull. So maybe that's why I put the reroll in. But I feel like if you're abandoning the crocs this turn anyway. You don't really need him on the pitch. Tough call, though. It's always a tough call using the uh, Lizardman Apo. Oh, throws out a skink to protect the ball a bit better. I mean, I'm sure we'll see him mighty blow. Well, we won't see him mighty blow tackle because the mighty blow, the not tackle, just tackle. The tackle is already stuck on a Saurus. <laughs> Ogre stays down again. <laughs> <laughs> the stupidest ogre. First thing he does is foul the crocs. No effect. Doesn't blitz the skink. I've got, oh, it was the ogre was going to blitz. That's why the ogre was going to blitz to rescue the tackler and the guarder. Oh, I've got these circles on from the uh, underworld game. Dub Skulls uses the reroll. I do believe it's three straight boneheads, yeah. Blitz in the sneaky git, what's the chance of instantly casting him? No, it doesn't. Yeah, stick stick a uh, stick the uh, tackler. The Saurus is pretty good. Been a few boneheads for the ogre, yeah, it might be three. It could even be four. I think it's at least three. Probably just three. Oh yeah, I can't update the stream title now because the match has started. It's too fast. <laughs> it's literally too fast. I mean, maybe I could have done it now. It's really hard, though, right, to watch the match and, and do the say what's happening and, that, and to, to fuck about changing the titles. I meant to do it before it started, but yeah, he gets KO'd anyway. But you know, that could have been an extra player KO'd, couldn't it, if he didn't have all this. So. Really hard to, to call the, uh, the lizard man apple use. So pretty safe moves here. Just needs to knock quad skull and he's at least got the cage safe, which he gets. And now he gets to blitz the uh Yeah, this guy, whatever he's called. <laughs> Bodyguard. Do you 1D? He does 1D, he gets the power. He gets fended though. A uh, block that he would never have would have followed. He gets fended. Should have uphilled here, I think. Uh, I guess it does let him get the ogre in, but the ogre can't really do a whole lot. So if he uphilled him, he's not getting hit by mighty blow, right? Uphilling, uphilling big guys is so much better now. Nowadays. So much better. 
Looks like we're barely trying for the... I guess we're going to put the sneaky get up and then blitz in. No, we're not. We're just going for big foul. I'm not even trying to defend. Interesting. The way Arzawain's playing this makes me think he should have taken all those lines and had a uh, sneaky get dirty player catcher because... You know, just sneaky get is not that good, is it? There you go. Does he get the KO back? Not yet. So, uh, probably feeling justified in his use of the apple on the KO, seeing as uh, the KO hasn't come back yet. I don't think uh, Necronome has to be very scared of a one turn. Looks like he's somewhat setting up against it, though. I just don't think he should have bothered, honestly. I just backline. I, you're more worried about the riot, right? So he could have, I think, set up so the tackler can't blitz you or whatever. Set up back here for the skinks. And then maybe uh, across there with the source or something. Yeah, just get 3D. No problem. Doesn't re-roll it. Maybe you should have re-rolled that honesty a 3D. The tackle has stayed out. Injured! Serious injury, so there you go. So the apple might not have even worked on that injury, right? It's a really tough call. What went to apple, honestly, as lizards. Maybe first KO is just always correct. The fact that mostly the Kazas aren't going to be badly hurt, so therefore it's not going to feel nice to apple non badly hurt. So gets the Crocs back. Is Downosaurus. Tackler is back in action. Still 13 players total for the Old World Alliance. So, you know, like, the plan is obviously overtime victory for Arzawain. That's why he uh, just, you know, stopped defending, didn't even desperation defend. So, if you can isolate uh, Saurus and foul it, big, big mega foul is what he should be trying to do. And he's still got to get his drive done, hasn't he? So it's not... It can't be the only thing he's thinking about, but... He should definitely be trying to get a big gun for him. You know, he could also try knocking players over. Probably shouldn't have followed either of those. To be honest, he could have just followed non-right and then had... been safe. Because unlike most Lizardman teams, um, a Necronome does have a guard to come in and help out. Could have one assist fouled. Maybe should have one assist fouled. But keeping it for later. Like that's the beauty of sneaky get, isn't it? There isn't really a cost to getting the foul in. Wow, he doesn't make the 1D, he doesn't make the 2D, he just makes the 1D. Maybe a misread. Bit of a... Bit of a half man's there, eh? Maybe this guy should have come in here to uh, help defend the other Saurus. I think it would be a, quite a bit better, yeah, like armor 7, well armor 8 plus is really terrible, isn't it? It's still really bad though having Edge 
four plus. Maybe I'm thinking of making them a good team. The back side is uh, completely exposed here. If this 1D. I guess it was okay, wasn't it? It was a bit dodgy though. But fair enough, he's got to get the fouls in. He doesn't have to. But he's got to score. <laughs> the most important thing is he's got to score. And then to win, he's probably got to get the fouls in. Oh well, he's not going to foul with a sneaky get anymore. It's been cast. I believe the re leader reroll has already been used as well, so the throw is no longer a target. Turn 11, now just getting anywhere is, is the problem, isn't it? <laughs> you know, before it was like, well, hopefully I can make some gang fouls as I get forward. Now it's just like, how the hell are you going to get forward at all? For the knobs. Tackle Blitz. Nothing. Wow. Big 1D. Interesting. Freeze the Crocs. The Crocs could move around here, couldn't it? That might be a good idea to move the Crocs. In, yep, and the crux does come in there. That was a bit. Not sure about that 1D, but there you go. Who can say if it was good or bad? Doesn't blitz the tackler or the guarder, just blitz this fella and cazzes him. <laughs> weakest link. Goes for the weakest link, wasn't it? That was a lineman there, and he did roll an 8 on the armor. So had he gone for either of the better targets, like, you know, he could have blitzed this guy and then based the ball, or he could have run around and blitzed this guy, but went for the shitty peasant and got a nice removal. Getting tricky for ours away now, nine players versus ten. And a lot, a lot worse at Blood Bowl they are as well, these nine. <laughs> I mean, un unless you believe Dimmy G propaganda, in which case knobs are OP. But, uh, if you believe Jimmy Fantastic, knobs are not OP. They're pretty rubbish. But they do get a good skill package for this event. Three, oh, he didn't do the dodge. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Does do the uphill. So we've got an easy 1D on the ball. Now he's a blodger. And it's a relatively easy 2D on the ball. But I'm not going to go for it. Which I think is correct. But you know. People, people do go for them sometimes, don't they? Something you've got to like think about on on offense, even if you think they shouldn't go for it. No, oh. one in nine he uses the wrestle. <laughs> Doesn't really care about the turnover. Just didn't want his wrestler killed by a Crocs. <laughs> Well, I don't like this moving the moving the guard in and then blitzing irrelevantly. It get you know it gets him up, but it's just not good positional blitz, is it? Huge ogre activation doesn't bonehead. Is Necronome going to go for the Skink Swarm? Probably not. Oh, no, oh, he is. He 
Here we go. Gets the 2D. Puts in the reroll, only gets the pushes. But he does get to stick the uh, Crocs in the uh, Crocsaurus in front. Doesn't put the Saurus in front. Interesting. The Saurus in the front there, right? If the Saurus in the front there, that cuts off the blitz from that angle, which means he's got a blitz from a worst angle. And it all gets through. Yeah, I think that Saurus had to come in there. Either just on the wrestler or on the wrestler and the thrower. Ah, uh, well, not the blitzer. I thought he hadn't activated him. So, yeah, this is the problem, right? He goes for the skink sack. And he ends up getting space cadeted a bit, right? Like all of a sudden there's all the space. He's through there with the stand firmers in front. Nice little screen. He's got a skink removed. Uh, what he could have done was he could have blitzed these and then like chained a source onto there to block there. But I mean like it's, it's not really better. It's just something he could have done. Oh, double skulls. Useless crocs. Stand firm is a good skill, yeah. I mean, it's a lot better when it gets guard, right? Like, rookie rookie knobs are a lot worse, right? A rookie, a rookie, uh, a rookie bodyguard with with just uh, with just wrestling stand firm is a bit rubbish. When they get guard, they get they get a lot better. Oh, he scores. He scores on turn 15. So we've got a lizard man two turn. And he's got two rerolls and nine players for it. So if he can get the knockdowns. He can get some skinks through. Oh, he gets he gets pro on the not on the crocs pro on who? Oh, it was pro on the tackler. Wow. Oh my god, I don't even know what's happening. There was a reroll used there, I think. Okay, let's pause. Like you just see a million dice pop up on the pitch, and who knows what's happened? That was a dub skull from a saurus. And then a bonehead from before pops up in the dice log. And then he rerolls it into a pow. Which he fends, breaks his armour, and he's stunned. Like, it's just so hard to see what's going on sometimes, isn't it? But there you go. This isn't terrible, is it? It's not it's not the best thing ever. He uses his last reroll, so he's used two rerolls this turn. But he's got a cage, a based cage, but a cage nonetheless, and it is based on the tackler. So do you dodge in to 2D him into the tackler? Or do you just blitz the cage corner and hope for the best? He's got three rerolls in case of overtime. So kind of very Oh you can just you can just put everyone in here and get the wrestle hit, lovely. That's obviously the best way of doing it then. <laughs> Wrestles in. So there you go, huge favor Well it's not necessarily right, it's not necessarily going to overtime here. This is a very easy clear. Another block here. A 3-3 three, three, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, double GFI. So this is uh, very on this turn. And Necronorm will be hoping he scores this turn because if he doesn't... Uh, 
it's gonna be a bit shit. Gets the 3-3, and then he won the match. So, from that we can conclude <laughs> that he just did the three dodges with with dodge and stunty and double GFI. He rolled all of the dice. I mean, yeah, because he definitely didn't do the 1D block. Um, because the, it, doesn't, it doesn't show you the last action. So the last action is just... Um, Oh, it's just a double dodge. It's not a three dodge. He's not starting any tackles on. So it's a two dodges, two GFIs. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say this was an insane look, right? This was. This was a. He rolled double skulls to use his first reroll, and he used a reroll on like a pickup or a handoff. So this was like three three. Two two without rerolls. And then a 3 3 with dodge. It's like it's not insane, is it? But you know, pretty lucky obviously to do without a reroll. Would have liked to have saved a reroll for that sequence, but gets it anyway. So there you go. Congratulations to Necronome. Arzawain is eliminated after his second loss. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.